who's on first. You know, I think that was probably their most popular bit. The idea was that they didn't write that, that it was an old routine that people did and they were just the ones who made it popular. But that's not true. No. Is that correct? No, that's that's correct. Betty Abbott, Bud's widow, Bud Abbott. Uh, she was also in the industry and, and, and for a long time was actually um, Bud's straight woman when they would do the circuits. And so she is very, she was a seasoned pro Korean dancer in burlesque vaudeville, straight woman. Um, she had a big track record. At any rate, she was explaining to me, she said, you know, back then there was a skit called Who's the Boss? And there was also another skit which dealt with a baseball theme. And she said all the comics in the team is, would perform these. You know, they were like like stock routines right. for burlesque in vaudeville. And she said when your dad and Bud teamed, they took this baseball routine and they redid it. And uh, what they wanted to do is to incorporate their own dialogue where they would put in, like, the names of the team. Um, God, now I have to go back and look at the <laughs> routine. <laughs> <laughs> I know a right fielder or a left fielder didn't have a name, but uh, you know who I'm talking right, about. Right, right, okay. right. <laughs> and uh, all they did is they, they incorporated their own material so they could make it their own. Okay, so the who's on first that everybody is so familiar with is basically Abbott and Costello with additional dialogue by John Grant, their, their head comedy writer. My Dad's cousin, Lou Reach, who was a fabulous man and lived well into his 90s, very, very dapper. And he used to tell the story. He said, Chris, did I ever tell you the story about the time your dad asked me to listen to a new routine they were doing? And he was a great storyteller. And he would sit there and he'd say, well, he said, you know, I used to drive your dad into the burlesque houses when he was working with Bud. And I was just a young guy then, you know, and he says, I just wanted to go in and see the Burley Q girls. That's all I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to see Burley Q girls. And so he said this one night he was driving dad into the city and dad turned to him and said, you know, Bud and I are working on this uh, routine. And why don't you come by mom and pops tomorrow? We're going to be rehearsing it. And I want, I want your thoughts. And, and Lou said, I felt so honored that he'd want my thoughts. He said, you know, who am I? I'm just the cousin. But he said, sure, I would love to. So he said the next afternoon, he went over to, you know, my grandparents' house and they had a basement and uh, he went down to the basement and dad had a chair there for him and Lou sat in the chair and, and dad said, we just want your thoughts on this. And Lou said for a minute, I felt very, very important. So he said, I crossed my legs and I crossed <laughs> my arms and I'm waiting. He said, they started to do the baseball routine and they, they did it. And then at the end, he said, your father looked at me and said, well, what do you think? And he said, I remember cocking my head and looking at him and going, nope, it'll never fly. Don't do it. Don't do it. He said, thank God they didn't listen to me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but no, no, that that's always. And, and you know, what's also very funny is um, every writer known to man, God bless them, when they have died, you'll see obits claiming that they they were um, one of the writers on who's on first. And I think I started counting how many writers. From <laughs> that whole team. <laughs> they had, they had a, the, like, yeah, really, really. The writer, the writer's team was as big as a baseball team. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but but no, the credit has to go to to Dad, Bud, and John Grant. 